Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again for another run. This time I think we're doing Bethany, which is another one of our sort of challenging characters um, in terms of trying to keep our streak alive. Currently the streak is at like 12 or 13, right? Uh, but yeah, this is sort of the first character, um, I won't say the first, but this is one of the characters I'd say that is like a real trouble. Um, obviously because no soul heart health causes some issues. Hopefully we can get some good items. I mean, already we're kicking it off in a very, very positive manner because even though cute baby isn't the strongest, he is the cutest damn boy you'll ever done see. Uh, I actually think Q Baby is pretty good. Um, you don't have to play to its strengths. You can just kind of let it glide around the room and do its thing. And it, it does a reasonably good job most of the time. Um, you don't really have to like sort of play to it as such. But you, if you if you do, you can get a bit more freezing out of it. Uh, and that's usually pretty good. Like, I mean, just, just, just look at the reaction we got off of that. That was beautiful. That was one enemy frozen and everything dead. Okay, that slowing there from Q-Baby as well was pretty clutch, I gotta say. Um, and we're just gonna head out to the boss. Unfortunately, this boss is a boss I still am not very good at. It's very, very weak, so that was good. I, I completely failed in planting that bomb there. That was pretty pathetic, actually. Um, I basically I planted it and the guys teleported away from me. But the good thing is, as you can see, they are periodically hitting Q-Baby quite a few times. And as, as you can also see, they also have, like... Basically no HP. A uh, little bit annoying to get Mum's lipstick here. Obviously not great. It puts us back to full health at least. Um, I will just go back and do our other room here because I kind of want to try and min-max a little Morris's character. I feel like we owe it. Also as well, we've just been having like really lucky runs in terms of like exploring the full floor. So I think it's well worth it. I mean, already here we've got ourselves um, a tinted rock we wouldn't have had otherwise. So that's pretty good. Good, good, good. Yeah, see, there you go. Look, look at this. This was perfect. This was perfect. We got a really good item there. Um, chance to drop a coin when destroyed. That's probably pretty good. I kind of want to grab that. Um, question is, do I blow up my donation machine or do I gamble on a secret room? Because secret room's almost definitely here. This is kind of a tricky one. Uh, I could also go to my cash room. I'll, I'll try my cash room. It's a little bit risky with our current HP, but I think it's got a reasonable chance of being successful here. That was a luck upgrade. Ah, that that minus off so much money from us. God damn it. Gotta get the shots just right to do this. You can do it though, can't you? You can. There you go. Lovely. Okay. Money-wise, not ideal. I think I'm going to blow up my donation machine here. I've been abusing the hell out of it recently, but I think in this situation, it's kind of worth it. Uh, boom, bow. Just because magic fingers, it's an... It's a, um... Active item, so that's pretty good. And I think Magic Fingers is actually a really goddamn good active item. Um, especially considering we just got it for 5 cent. I think it's really goddamn good. Obviously, it does rely on us having to get money to make it work. But it can be really strong. One moment. Right, sorry about that. Let's keep it going. Um, so, yeah, I don't really know how sort of our active's going to fit in. Um, in terms of regular room to room at the moment. Because we've got such little money. But I think later down the line, we get up to the sort of... 15 cent mark and higher, we can start using it. Also, I do believe Magic Fingers does scale based off the amount of money you have in terms of how much damage it does. Um, I mean, great start already there. Um, but basically, I'm sort of thinking we'll use like... Ooh, yes, that's really good. Um, I'm sort of thinking we can use like one penny per... Um, do you know what? I will take this. And do you know what? I'll also blow up this as well. It's only, we've only got one bomb, but I, I was going to say I was hoping for a, a pretty decent payout, and that indeed is a pretty decent payout. Um, okay. But yeah, I'm going to say we can try and just use it periodically whenever we can, like use it once in a room just to gain the wisp. 
um, as long as we're not like completely wasting our money, but it means that every enemy is a little bit weaker, which means every room's a little bit easier. Also, if we've got good money as well, it means that we can sort of circumvent some really like potentially difficult rooms uh, that could lose us our, um, that could lose us our, what's it called, our angel deal. So that's definitely something we want to pay attention to as well. Unfortunately, Q-Baby's been left in the dark a little bit here. I apologize to that sweet boy. I'm fairly sure secret room is here. Indeed it is. Um, I'll, I'll go for this because it could be a secret room item. Unfortunately, it's not um, It's not ideal. We could try this. Oh, this is awesome. We've got loads of money to work with now. I'm very happy about this. Very happy about this indeed. Okay, so we, at the minute we need a, a gift card item, really. If this guy gives me um, gives me the thingy, what's it called? The the virus, I am just going to take the gift card. Uh, mystery, mystery gift. Unfortunately, he didn't. Uh, we get an empress there, which we'll just leave there for now. But yeah, look at that. Like, the amount of damage this is doing. Such a goddamn good active, especially if you can get reliable money. Like, basically, our dream item right now is deep pockets. If we can get deep pockets, holy damn, we are in a good spot. But yeah, it's just it's just clearing out so many small enemies, and the more damage we deal, the more damage it deals. So it, it's really goddamn positive for us. Uh, let's see what item we got going on here. So this is definitely one that I'm gonna gift card. Um, like, experimental treatment is good, but b I if I lost damage, fire it, or health, I'd be pretty pissed. And I feel like the batting average of that is is, is not great, so I'm just going to take the uh, mysterious gift and get ourselves a secret room item. That unfortunately isn't that good for us, because I, like, although this is a good item, I'm way more inclined to keep um, our magic fingers right now. So that is a little bit of a shame, but we did just get a ton of money, which is nice. Um... So in that regard, it was pretty worthwhile, I've got to say. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty happy, actually, with getting this. Even though that wasn't ideal, we did just get a ton of extra money. Um, and I think that's pretty valuable for us. Let's go back and get our thingy here. Um, get our magic fingers. And the thing is, as well here, we can use magic fingers on the boss to just basically rinse it and make sure we get our angel deal. We can use, like, 10 cents to just rinse it. Uh, deals two times damage damage plus ten um, to all enemies in the room. Two times. Oh, it's it's based on our damage. I I mm, I always thought it was scaled based on the amount of money you had, but it scales based on your damage. Okay, good to know. Okay, so this guy we don't actually need to uh, do much with. This guy's getting taken care of pretty easily here. I'm surprised the um, the money one shoot. There you go. He's nice and dead. We got our angel deal. We got plus one flat damage, which makes our magic fingers even better. Um, we we don't have Mega Satan, but honestly, I'm I'm definitely wanting to take filigree feather here. Although we don't have a bomb right now, so it's not ideal. Um, picking up fifteen hearts spawns a permanent adjunct familiar. Capping at five familiars. All familiars have been um, spawns a soul heart instead. Okay. Um, unfortunately, neither of these are particularly good, but I think this is the better one. I don't think there's any way that we can, uh, can destroy this, no. That's a bit of a shame, because Filigree Feather would have been quite good there. But, meh, it is what it is. Um, there's a chance that stays open. I guess I could go back and try and get a bomb from somewhere. It's unlikely it'll stay open, but there's a small chance. Uh, did we have one for purchase in here? No, we didn't. What about our, our real shop? Did we have them for purchase in there? Let's go do this big room first, the... the, the when it gives you a penny back, it's so satisfying. But yeah, Magic Fingers, wholeheartedly an underrated item. I I don't know if it got buffed with Repentance or not, but still, it's, it's goddamn good. Uh, we'll buy the sack, that's a good chance of getting a bomb. Good, good, good. Obviously, that is money uh, that we'd be using for our magic fingers, I realise, but if there's any chance of us getting back into that angel deal, I'm pretty happy with it. Unfortunately, that duo bomb, one of them is a copper bomb, which means that I can't reliably use it on that curse room to get into it for free, which is what I was kind of hoping to do here, uh, which is a bit of a shame, but eh, it is what it is. We'll see if we can get back into that angel deal, but I doubt it. Oh, we can. Nice. Okay, awesome. Lovely. I love it when that happens. 
Don't destroy all my wisps by walking into me, you goose. How the fuck did that hit me? The, 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 um... What's it called? Uh... Indication of where that's gonna be is very misaligned. And we get ourselves Swan Protector. Two so so items there, really, but it's fine. Right, let's go down to the next floor. Feeling good. Obviously, if we t if we keep Filigree Feather, we can't do Mega Satan. But basically, my thinking is we'll try and do a Sack Room at some point if we get the opportunity. Um, not quite got the resources to do that at the moment. But I'm sure we will do soon enough. Okay, these guys can steal our um, pennies, so let's be careful of them. That is a charged key. We don't need active charges, so we can just take that. Also, as well, a good thing about this active is we have a hell of a lot of protection, just because we have a constant suite of orbitals, pretty much. I'm willing to bomb this. Just because there's, there's a high chance of money. And we did indeed get a good bit of money there. Very nice. Right. You see that there? Look, I, I managed to protect myself just by having my wisps block my shots for me. It's very, very nice. I'm fairly sure Secret Room is just above us. So we'll, we'll try that out. Unfortunately, I have that care, so we're getting half hearts instead of full hearts. Wow, okay. That changes things. Um, that certainly changes things. Spawns a trapdoor to the next floor. Okay, we can we can use that uh, to get a crawl space, I think, here. Yeah, there you go. That changes things, because I really do want to keep the active I have right now, but obviously, that one's better, dude. That's kind of mean. There's just a ton. Um of bomb chests and I don't have a bomb. Yeah, I really want to keep my active I have right now, but I can't not take Arky, right? But, like, look how good this thing is. It's so good. It's going to be upsetting to leave it behind. Maybe we can get the backpack from the shop, maybe? It's just killing everything so nice and quickly. Another luck penny. We're doing very well with the luck pennies right now. <laughs> Half soul heart, god damn it. Uh shop, please be please be good to us. What is this? I can't cute baby. <laughs> I can't fucking see what this is. Okay. We've quite a few half hearts about, so I'm willing to put some into this. There you go. Good stuff out of it. Uh we got a burn heart out of it as well, which is rather nice. Actually, let's just go back down here. Got an eternal heart there, that's nice. Um, I guess... Oh, oh wait, this is an act. I always forget this is an active. Definitely shouldn't be an active. Quality 3, my ass. I'm sorry, but that is not a quality 3 item in my books. Shattered Soul. Uh, uh, we don't really want that right now. Basically, my thinking right now is we can take Filigree Feather the entire way and then get... Oh, that's also really good. Um, then also um, just drop it on the, the next run to get our uh, thingies going. Oh, dude, we have so many red hearts right now. It's probably worth... Um, let's do our boss first. It's probably worth doing our sack room on this floor. It's annoying that all of these are half hearts. If they were full hearts, would be in a much better position. Um, fairly sure this is a secret room. Unfortunately, neither of those do much for us. Yeah, I'm going to be really annoyed to leave behind my active here. We're getting a lot of actives, unfortunately, and one of them happens to be Arky. Which is a good, it's a good thing, but I'm going to be losing a, a fair amount of strength on this run due to gi giving up, um, giving up this active item. Mm. 
I'm trying my goddamn best here, but it's, it's not going great. Cracker Jacks is lovely. All stats up prevent stats from being increased while held. That's uh, it's a moderate all stats up. It's not crazy good. Um, and also, can't you just drop it whenever you find stats? <laughs> like That doesn't seem like an ideal uh, idea for an item. Anyways, let's go. We're, we're going to have to do the whole fucking back and forth constantly because we've got a burn heart, which is going to be really tedious, I realize. Um, right. I'm, fa I'm fairly sure we can do this and it won't destroy our burn heart. Yeah, we can. Nice. So we can actually use half hearts as full hearts in this situation. Feel blessed. Nice. Good old Arky. Of course, I could just Arky now, but that's kind of pointless. We'll try and get a mark first, at least. Oh, we still don't have a bomb yet for all those stone chests, which is kind of annoying. Maybe we have one in our shop that I didn't pay attention to. Also, so many trinkets this floor. Wow. Go ch quickly check our shop for a bomb, because three stone chests is likely to give us something good. There you go. Good, good, good. Yeah, like I said, this is going to be tedious. Whenever you have a burn heart, doing sack room plays is always a bit of a pain in the ass. That's a bomb as well. Lovely. Right, let's quickly go down to that crawl space and grab us what we can. See, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah, it's damn shame to get Arky so early, even though it's such a good active. By the way, also, this is giving us a really high chance of getting an Angel Familiar, because we're healing so much. There you go, we, we got one already. We just got Seraphim. So this is another good reason to do this. One sec. Right, let's keep it going. We must be close now. This is the Arky, so the wrong room. Oops. Now, the question is, do I want to drop my Filigree Feather, or do I want to get my Angel items? I think I'd rather have my Angel items, to be honest. Like I said, I can get, um... I can get my angel key stuff later and do Mega Satan another time. Um, I'm back. It's, it's such a slow process, this, but it's very worthwhile. Especially, I think the burn hearts kind of helped because it means that these half hearts are worth more. We can get a lot more out of it. Try and utilize the spikes if we can. What's this card up here? I can't remember what this card is. Oh, just a hermit. Prism. Pretty good stuff. Back this way we go once again. Yeah, I'm actually kind of uh, liking that we've got um, the Immaculate Conception or whatever it's called. Uh, giving us all the extras from um, picking up all these hearts. I didn't really think about that, but it's pretty good. Pretty good Angel Familiars. I like it. Especially Seraphim's one of the better ones. All this money. Probably better, actually, than getting soul hearts, to be honest. God. That active, though. So sad to see it go. The good thing is, at least, um, I think that we get the power we're gaining off of the back of this run is allowing us to, um, to not need our active as much. It's more the getting rid of the wisps that's upsetting to me, though. Have I done a question of the day today? I can't even remember if I have. If I haven't, um... What do you have for breakfast and why? There you go. <laughs> Super easy basic one there. Oh, du dude! That fucking... The... Oh, the beam-like projection for where it's going to be is just wrong. It's just wrong. Um, there you go. We lost our burn heart for no goddamn good reason there. Right, grab our key. Uh, we should probably go to the cash room first, because we do have a ton of red hearts about here, because we're not going to lose our burn heart anymore. Oh, 
Oh, really? <laughs> Fuck it, I can't be asked. Right. Grabbeth the Arky. So now the question is what do we want to do to maximize completion marks here? So... I think we want to do... I think we want to do... Um, mother this run? No, we can't, we can't do Mother this run. What am I talking about? Um, I can't remember what the completion marks are now. <laughs> um, so we're missing Boss Rush, which obviously we can't do. We're missing Delirium. What the hell else are we missing? We're missing Greed Mode. Mother. Do we even need the Arky? Like, in terms of completion marks, do we need the R key? I don't know if we do. I guess this time around we're going for a Delirium run? Although we've already done Hush, which is not great. Delirium and then Mother by the looks of it, right now. I think. Makes sense. Right, anyways, we've, we've made a decision now. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle, skadoodle. Wait, no, so we want to do... We want to do... Del this is kind of tricky. Because we can't... We want to fit Mega Satan in there somewhere, right? So we do... What would be ideal is if we could go Mega Satan first, and then be able to teleport, like, go to Delirium, but we don't know if that's a guarantee. Like, that, that might not happen, so... It's kind of tricky. Um, either way, we'll just see what happens. I think I'm going to go Delirium first time round, and then maybe go Mega Satan second. Mega Satan on Mother second time round. I think I'm going to just do Delirium Mother and miss off Mega Satan, because then I can not have to worry about Filigree Feather and all that. I can just do what I want. I need to remember that I do not have, uh, what's it called anymore, um, the magic fingers. Because if I accidentally press my space bar, it ain't going to do anything near like what I think it's going to do. And it's going to be kind of a waste. Crack the sky. Crack the sky is pretty good, but fortunately it doesn't do much for us right now. Right. Dude, stop giving me fucking active items. My gowd. Active items are just constant and won't leave me alone. Hey, we did just get a card against humanity here, which is insanely good. And we've also got a room to use it in here as well. A very good room to use it in, in fact. Oh god, I got a really itchy arm. Where did that come from? Oh no. Right. Right, all done, and then Cardian Humanity. Obviously, we'll hope we can get an early um, Petrified Poop. We'll see. Nah, it doesn't look like we're getting early Petrified Poop. Oh no, we did. We, we got it. We got it. That's fairly early. We're looking for luck pennies more than anything, really, I think. And that's our main gain out of all of this. I love how quickly we can destroy all the poops with this mod. Hey, there's an eternal heart. Okay, so we're definitely at max money already. That's for sure. Unfortunately, this does lag our game a good bit. Do we have any luck pennies in here? It doesn't look like we got a single luck penny, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't think we got a single luck penny, which is a bit of a shame. Grab Filigree Feather back. Eternal Heart obviously will leave until later, because I am not convinced that I can keep it around for long enough right now. We'll come back for that. I'm having to, like, actively keep my finger away from my spacebar. 
on my thumb, should I say, um, which feels really weird. <laughs> No thank you for purple heart. Now this is gross. These guys rebirthing is really gross. Come on, you shit. <sighs> and I got hit as well. That's... Ain't that some shit. Steven Floor, I'll be honest, I'm not interested in this, this, um, this run. What time are we on? Yeah, we're going to say we've missed boss rush by quite a margin here. Fucking stop. Actually, goddamn stop with all the stupid active items. Nobody cares. Go away. I, I really... One of my... I, I've said it multiple times. One of my biggest pet peeves about this game is the way that the, like, the game doesn't do anything to stop active items just spawning over and over and over again. It just... It makes runs feel so bad when you just get active item after active item after active item. I mean, this run's still fucking amazing right now, but it's still really frustrating. Just, there should be something in the game that says, if you've gained this many active items, you can't gain any more. Or, if you gain an active item in an item room, your next item room can't be an active item. I do have a mod that does something similar, but it doesn't, it's not fully effective, as you can see. Bugger off, you flying bastard. That look is very, very nice right now. Oh hell, that's a giant poop. I kind of like to go back and get petrified poop before I do this, but it's kind of a long trek. We got the Angel D on 11% 11, uh, 11 chance, which is kind of crazy. We also get Golden Filigree Feather, which I can't imagine does anything. That's very nice. That damage, baby. Good, good. Spear of Destiny doesn't do much for us, but there you go. We've got it now. Right. Let's go back, 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 and get our um, Eternal Heart. It's a little bit of a trek here, but eh, probably worth it. Good. Fucking cute baby. Hate the way it lines up with the door and, like, stops you getting through the door. You inconvenience me on purpose, you sweet summer child. Good, good, good. Gotta love Petrified Poop. Of course, there is a ton of money there that's, like, not doing anything. That just kind of is what it is. I'll at least go and pick up the dime. There you go. Crazy her. Away we go to the next floor. Yeah, unfortunately, missing Boss Rush isn't ideal here, because it means that we're going to have to do Hush for Delirium and only be getting the Delirium mark out of it, which... I'm not a fan of, but eh, it's fine. Like I said, it'd be I'd rather go Mega Satan first, and I can choose between Mother or Delirium, but because uh, I could do Delirium as well. But I, there's a chance that I do Mega Satan and it just ends the run, so I can't really do that. Down we go. Of course, I could go. The, I could go the mother route now and just spawn in the key pieces if I wanted to, but I do that sometimes, but that's not really in the spirit of this run, I don't think. I just miss being able to insta-kill everything in the room by pressing my spacebar a few times. Those were the good times, baby. Farting baby. Farting baby's actually not bad. I don't mind getting conjoined either. I'm a little annoyed how massive of a tears down conjoined was there, though. Normally, it's really not that noticeable of a stat, stat down, but that tears down was pretty aggressive. This is 
Not a great room. Luckily, conjoint helpers can get through that room really quick, though. Good thing is about conjoined is it makes our prism even better. Good. Careful the purple fire boys. Rather not deal with them right now. Slide past him. Obviously looking for our shop here. Oh, hello. I was not expecting you, good sir. Secret room is looking to be here, maybe? No. Well, that was a very quick kill there. Trying to use my Spear of Destiny where I can, but it's not an ideal thing to use, really. We could grab... See, the thing is, we could grab Chaos, but if that... Angel, um, angel bosses drop angel items instead of key pieces. I, like, I'm fairly sure it'll stop that from working, and I just think that's a terrible idea. So, unfortunately, as much as I do love Chaos, I think that in this run, it just doesn't make sense because we've got Filigree Feather. Filigree Feather allows us to get so many additional angel items over the course of the run. But I just don't, yeah, I just don't think it's worth it. Nice. Midas Touch isn't great, but we can, we can do something with it, I'm sure. I like this champion where it gives all the batteries, but unfortunately we're in a situation where it's not very useful. Also, I got hit again. God damn it. Not been paying enough attention. It's because I don't have a, a suite of wisps to protect me anymore. That was so nice, and now uh, I can't produce wisps on a regular basis, so we're missing out a little bit there. I'm not firing as many shots for our prism or anything. It's a little bit upsetting. Why are you upside down, boys? This is, de yeah, this is Necro ones. We can do the boss straight away. Unfortunately, it's a boss that is going to give us an, act uh, an item we don't care for at all. And you got rid of one of my wisps, you dick. Actually, Cube of Rot's not terrible. It's not as bad as their uh, thingy, um, Cube of Meeks. It can teleport around and poison things, which I think is slightly more valuable. Oh, we've seen our shop and our item room, so we don't really have much reason to spend extra time on this floor. Now, let's just go. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do Hush, you know. This is this is not, not a great run <laughs> for, for completion marks. Like, I'm, I'm very far behind right now, so Hush is still, like, hanging in the balance. So this, this might be an R key run in which we don't take advantage very effectively to do completion max. We might just use it to, to get a lot of power. But then at that point, dude, I keep getting hit and it's really pissing me off. <laughs> I just keep getting hit in the worst ways possible, losing my angel chance. Like, I've got filigree feather. I need to be more cautious. Rotten baby's rather nice. Bell Clapper's pretty good. This card is... Pretty good. Nice amount of bombs there. Yeah, I don't even know if I'm going to make... I, I, in fact, I'm almost certain I'm not going to make Hush at this point. So... Yeah, this has not been great. <laughs> this has not been great. Aki's kind of worthless for us. Because the, the problem is as well, like, Aki, I could use to just 
make my run even stronger, but I have no real need to. This run will definitely be able to beat whatever boss we face. That's kind of a wasted Arky, to be honest. It's not really a run that needed it. I mean, obviously, I'll still use it, because it's fun. But, like, in terms of completion marks and, like, doing stuff, it's just really unnecessary. It's not, not the right run for it, not the right character for it. What? I'm... I'm conflicted, because what I could do is try and get my key pieces and just go Mega Satan. Um, got hit again, lovely. Uh, and just go Mega Satan. Oh, dude, I'm getting hit so fucking much, it's unreal. I could just go Mega Satan and hope it gives me the Delirium Teleport and not use Arky and go for a gamble and then do a Mother Run afterwards. Like, that's my... Dude, if I could stop getting hit by literally everything everywhere, that'd be lovely. I also got a Zealot Heart out of that. Oh, okay, this is a little bit BS. Oh, no, no, okay, okay, we got Holy Water. I, I, um, I, I got a Soul Heart then, I thought it, was, it had just given me a Soul Heart rather than a Familiar, but we did get Holy Water, so... Pretty good going there. Um, yeah, so that's that's actually kind of more tempting right now. You know what's really tempting? So fucking stop getting hit, you moron! Oh my god, I'm so annoyed at myself. But if I don't get Delirium, it's an absolute waste of Arky. Good. Is that another Zealot Heart? God damn, we got two back to back. Although they don't do anything for us, which is kind of a shame. Yeah, we're already at 29 minutes. There's literally no way we make hush. Also, our Angel Deal once again is not super obtainable because I got hit a billion times this floor. Right, I guess we take Polaroid here. Yeah, this is this is this, is, this has been a weird one. Cuz at, at this point I'm not even going to get the um get the key pieces in time. I'd have to do a sack room. We've got a 62% chance of angels. We, we should try and keep that alive if we can. Not a great room to start that. I need some fire rate to make up for the fire rate I lost from conjoined, really. Good, this is a really fucking long room. God damn. I'm kinda certain it isn't this way, so I don't know why I've come this way, but I've committed now. I have to I have to continue. Duct tape. Duct tape's kind of an interesting one. What do you do again? You just bring shots out and spew them back out again, do you? Okay. You're fine. Yeah, we're already past hush time. Slightly to be expected, considering how long I took with everything. I need that mod that lets you continue past Mother and do Delirium. Okay, big spewer boy, can you not? Thank you. Here's our boss already. Unfortunately, this is a really not good set of enemies for not getting hit against, but there you go. Remember we've got the uh, the bombs that do mad damage to bosses? Fuck! Fuck you! What the fuck was that? Oh my god, you just jumped right on top of me, you sausage! You demon! I'm actually so fucking frustrated right now. This, this runs bullshit. <laughs> Stop getting fucking hit, you moron. It's so easy. Just don't fucking walk into the goddamn shots. Oh my god, I'm raging so hard right now. I'm just 
annoyed at myself. I, I know I can play better than this. Why do I keep getting hit? I mean, I will say half of the reason I'm getting hit so much is I can't bloody see what's going on. There's so much on screen right now. I, and also, unfortunately, there is a almost 0% chance that I don't get hit on Mother. So even if I make it to Mother without getting hit... I'm gonna lose my angel deal there because new mother is a lot, lot harder. New mum's heart, should I say? I mean, it doesn't matter because I've just walked into the middle of all of those enemies for some fucking reason. I hate myself. <laughs> I can't keep an angel deal alive to save my life. I know what's wrong with me. I had the palm, I have the fucking world and the palm of my hands with this run, with that filigree feather set up, and it's like, eh, eh, it'd be more fun if I just threw all that in the garbage. How about that? And then, like, I've taken way too long without a rav run, so I've ruined my chance to get multiple completion marks. This has just all been a load of bollocks. <laughs> and, like, I, my sack room chances are also pretty, um, pretty shit, because, uh... Right now, I have, like... I mean, what am I going to do with this run? Like, at the moment, I literally can't get any completion marks. I can't do Delirium unless I go Mega Satan um, and get the Delirium mark, or unless I get it randomly off another boss. This is... This is yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty crap. I will play the hell out of you. Give me the axolotl pretty much straight away. Yeah, at the minute I'm going to have to use Arky in order to get any completion marks. A slightly sorry state of affairs, to be honest. Fucking get that mask out of here. Another Zealot Heart that we can't fucking do anything with. Dude, how have we had three Zealot Hearts this run on a run where you literally cannot use them? Very upsetty spaghetti. Good thing is when we get on our next run, we've used Arky and get a different active item. We're going to have a lot of Soul Hearts we can use. A lot of charges. Walk into that enemy that spawned underneath me. Good, good, good. Another Luck Penny. a red heart back. Good, good. I do also see the tinted rock. Dude, this is a long-ass floor, my god. Good old golden troll bomb. I didn't realize these little things shot at you. What the fuck is this guy doing? I've literally never seen this attack in my life. What, what the hell's this? Stop! When did this exist? <laughs> I've literally never seen you do that before. I was just about to say, we've got to be close to boss at this point. Righty her then. Again, make sure we use bombs because they do tons of extra damage to bosses right now. Nah, I lost my angel deal chance again. And then, guarantee of this attack, sadly. Q-Baby's doing a good job of blocking some of these projectiles, though, I will say. I got you taken care of. Up we go, with no chance of doing any completion marks. This, this, is, this has been a travesty. I should have gotten my, uh, my my key pieces way earlier, obviously. Oh, great. They, I was they don't disappear after I've uh, killed everything, but press the buttons, but they did. They did. Oh, God, this room's a bit horrible. Honestly, my damage isn't even that great. Like, <laughs> like 
as much as I've been singing the praise of this run, like, my damage is still pretty fucking terrible. Um, and my fire rate is still also not great. Oh, this is... This is hellish. Oh, this is fucking awful. That was... That was gross. That room was awful. Right. I say, yeah, we're just not killing stuff very quickly anymore. It's not terrible, but... Could be a lot better. For a run of what what should have been very high caliber. What do these guys do when they eat an eternal penny? Okay, they just spew out a little fly. Wow, that was, that was a good hit, my guy. Good thing is, Farting Baby does absorb shots, so I can use him to uh, save myself a little bit. Farting Baby is very nice defensively. Dude, how did that bomb... How did that bomb go behind me? This game sometimes, man. There's that taken care of. Right, so I think we're just arcing after this, aren't we? Which is depressing. 99 keys. I guess we should actually clear out the floor first because we've got such high luck. Got 99 keys now as well, which is rather nice. Getting some extra HP. Thank you. Get out of here, you. Bookworm, there it is at least. That's nice. Fucking get out of the way. <laughs> this run has made me, like, unfathomably angry. <laughs> it's such a good, bad run. What, honestly, what the shit is this room? What the flying hell is this? There's so many enemies. This is crazy. There's like four monsters and a bunch of other crap. This is a bit mental. It's a bit much. We're not even getting like good stuff out of these either. I planted a bomb, how did you not eat it? There you go. I'm doing all of this for the extra chests and I'm getting nothing. I ain't getting sweet fuck all. Wait, how do you, how do I not get hit in this room? Okay, there you go. Like that. Do you know what? I, I can't be asked doing all this crap. Thunder thighs. I'll take it. Don't like the speed down, but the HP up is good. More luck up. Right, so. I think we probably want to do Mother with this setup. Or we could do Mega Satan. No, we'll do... I was going to say we'll do Mother because we can get to Boss Rush, but it doesn't reset the timer when you use the R key, so... Perhaps not.
That's the last ghosty boys. Ah, <sighs> this run's been a... Uh, it's been a weird one. Oh, these fucking enemies. Right, time doesn't really matter at this point. Secret rooms, maybe? Nah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Hello. I say these chests are normally pretty goddamn good, so. Sadly, not only our red room, but a room with the annoying ghosty boys again. I'm going to take a gamble and just take my eternal heart now. I got another angel familiar. In fact, if I if I chariot card, yeah, I'm going to say, <laughs> won't I just demolish him if I chariot card? Indeed, I will. I got my speed back as well, which is nice. Um, This is our decision point. So, the thing is, if I go... Mega Satan, I have to give up my filigree feather for like uh, two angels at least. If I go mother, I don't, and I can use filigree feather as much as I want. But I've not been getting angel deals anyways. If I go mother, I can only get one conceivable completion mark. If I go delirium, well, Mega Satan, I can potentially get two. But I think mother's more fun and a harder one in general. And we're not guaranteed to get Delirium anyways. So I'm going to do this. It's It's been a very sort of roundabout way of, of getting just one completion mark, I'll be honest. Um, but hey-ho. It is what it is. Gotta remember I can walk over rocks. I keep forgetting that. Pretty darn useful. Kind of a tricky one here. I think I'll take the blood bombs. Oh, the D6 probably would have been quite good. <laughs> Bit of a shame. What? I lost my angel deal to that? What the fuck hit me? Game. I don't even know what hit me. I, th there was something in one of those buckets, I guess, and that hit me. I don't know what, though. Car battery's really lovely. Take that. No angel deal there either. Ugh. Ron has truly depressed my spaghetti in many ways. Go straight for the boss. Don't get hit by anything. We've got wisps protecting us now, so we should have a slightly higher chance of this happening. Satanic Bible. Do I want Satanic Bible? It's, it's a better active, but I don't get the black hearts out of it. Um, hmm. I do get the devil deal items, but do, do, doesn't taking a devil deal item screw me out of angel deal? I'm going to say no to it. I'm a little... A little annoyed about that, but hey her. I wasn't sure. I didn't want to take the risk. Right, shop once again. 
don't think I need burger bombs, really. Right, straight for the boss. Unfortunately, it's not a boss I'm familiar, uh, particularly happy with, but he should die pretty fast. Yeah, he did. Good. Right, Angel Deal finally coming our way. Pageant Boy, wow. How amazing. And we get ourselves Little Delirian. Not ideal. <laughs> Right, back we go. Got our flight now, good, good. Fortunately, key piece isn't super close, but I don't think we'll have too much of a hard time getting through the rooms and staying alive, to be honest. Although we have been getting hit a lot. I can't see this run being too risky for us. There you go. Do I want to go and um, do our boss again? Honestly, we killed it so fast, it's probably worthwhile. The amount of shots we're firing from our prism. Prism's so goddamn good. I'm not really using my uh, fortune cookie that much, but it's honestly because I don't really care for it. Right, there you go. Got him again. Look at our familiar train. Goddamn, we got a lot going on in our familiars. Milk of Baphomet is pretty worthwhile. Right, back we go, then we'll look for secret room. We've got plenty of bombs. Through we go. Yeah, it's been a very roundabout way to kill Mother. It really has. Nope. 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 What the fuck is secret room? What the hell? Here, maybe? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I'm not going to worry about it. But who's this dude we've got? Who's this guy? Look, look, look at this freak. You see this little gaper guy? What the fuck? Is that little delirium? I think he is. I think that's little delirium. Just transforming into someone that doesn't have a little delirium skin. I don't see little delirium in my in my lineup, so I'm gonna assume that's little delirium. Yeah, it was, it was. How bizarre. Um, okay, well this is good because we can smell a trinket now. We get cherry friends. I can't remember what cherry friends even does. This makes life easier for us. Burnheart protecting our angel deal is very, very nice here. What we got going on in here? Lots and lots of uh, charge based things. What does this do again? Gulps one trinket upon entering a new floor. Nah, I do not want to reroll any of my trinkets. Would like a different active though at some point. See now, when I was saying earlier about getting tons of actives that I don't want, now I'm just not getting actives when I do want them. Really don't need all this, but there you go.
What am I meant to be doing here exactly? Okay, there you go. Um, we've been everywhere we need to go here. It's Gideon. For an Arky run, this run isn't even that strong either. <laughs> Just spawn the next wave, bozo. What the hell enemy is that? I've never seen these spiders in my life. Where did they come from? I'm guessing these cherry bombs are just like landmines. Yeah, they are. I don't know if I've used this item before, cherry friends. No more spider spawning for you, thank you. Moral hearts doesn't do much for us. Stigmata busts up to max HP at least. Okay. Taken care of, my ladder. We're definitely getting to the point where our damage is actually reasonable now. I uh, stat, that means. I mean, obviously, our damage is good. Um, I think we're just down to the next floor here. Hmm. Telepathy for dummies. It's probably a better active item. But I've already got Bookworm. I'm, I'm not going to take that. Oh, we got Monstrous Lung. Do I... Okay, I was just about to say, do I care about Monstrous Lung? We have very quick fire rate, so yes, I do. Whatever this situation is, I do not like. Oh, okay, they're both... They've, they've killed themselves. Intriguing. Uh, a bold strategy, I guess. Um... What is the deal in this room? There doesn't seem... Okay, as I said, there doesn't seem to be an enemy to kill, but... There you go. Ow. So many soul hearts, it's insane. Hello, Tainted Treasure Room, what do you hold for me? Teleport directly to home, unfortunately that's not something I care for, so instead I'll take that. I don't know why, but I thought that was secret roomy. Ah, I'm like trying to fire at enemies and realizing I have monsters as long, I have to let go of my charge to hit enemies now. Where's that secret room at? Where'd that secret room do be at? Is it here, maybe? No, it can't be there. But, you know, I was hoping to just basically use my uh, mysterious gift and fuck off. not been a super successful tactic right now because I can't use it so I don't know why the hell I'm meant to use it oh dude these enemies are strong I, it can't be here right nah where the flippity flip is it it's a weird one The soul heart, we so many of those. Black candles, lovely. Is it here? It is. 
Wow, we all of that, and we get the fucking poop. I don't even care about Fortune Cookie, I'll be honest. I'm glad to just not have an active anymore. Also, what the hell happened to our charges? The overcharge item does not like single use actives, apparently. It doesn't understand them. I think Fortune Cookie is giving us wisps that grant us luck, which is interesting. No angel deal here. Um, I think we're just good to keep going here. No, that's not what I meant to do. It's just, just, just fuck off game for a minute. <laughs> Stage, um, what's it called again? I don't remember. It's like an eight, seven, five. Five C. Yeah, there you go. I'm not I'm not dealing with accidentally going to the wrong floor. My mind is fried from this run already. I can't be bothered. The mental overhead that this run has been has been way too much. The R key Basically the I genuinely think the R key kind of spoil everything. <laughs> Getting the R key was just not a good thing for this run in total. Oh. Don't want my factor. That item is laggy as shit. <laughs> I'd rather have nothing. But yeah, for for an Arky run, this run is not super impressive either. Like, it's pretty good. I'm liking the monstrous lung prism thing with all the familiars we've got going on. That's that's that's, that's all good. But like. The, the clear speed of rooms is not particularly crazy. I feel like we could definitely achieve this on a regular run. Yeah. Hey, that was nice and cheeky, being able to just run straight through there. I'm not sure where that cross brimstone beam came from, though. Devil chest there. These guys can cage you, can't they? Go for the uh, thingy devil chest here. Not really what I wanted, because that's going to lock us into devil deal now. But I do think that both of these are very good and we have the HP to take them both. So I'm going to do it, especially with the luck we've got right now. Hydrum, love that. Ooh, what the hell's going on with this? Like, why is there so many fires on the floor? Wait, is he going to ignite all these fires? Hold up. Hold up a minute. How is this going to work? Doesn't he ignite the fires at some point during the fight? Do I have to stand, like, directly in the middle to not get hit here? Okay, no, he does still ignite random ones. I thought he was just going to ignite them all. That was a little scary. Right, down we go. Gehenna. Okay. Definitely having the locusts and the the thing, the hand item, little horn, has increased our uh, room clear speed by a good bit. We can insta-kill a lot of enemies now. And uh, our locusts, the rotten baby, and axolotl and stuff are producing, are doing a pretty good job. Right. I guess I'll take that, but it's not very valuable for us. Did we even go to the item room this floor? We didn't. It's fine.
I'll be honest, I'm so done with this run. <laughs> I'm just beelining it now. Do we have the wafer? Or do you just only take half heart damage on this floor? I can't remember. I think it's that we just only take half heart damage on this floor, isn't it? Each floor has a marked spot. Um, bed at the start of every floor. Entering, then breaking the line of sight from an enemy for the first time confuses them for a period. Kind of interesting. We'll take that. Right. Let's go, let's go. Bomb boy? We don't really have bombs to make that work, so I'm not going to bother with that. Hey, there's some of that confusion going on. Oh, dude, we're getting a nice locust army going. Unfortunately, an enemy there that's invincible just ate up all our locusts. That's something that's really goddamn annoying. The invincible enemies still get targeted by your locusts and stuff, and your, your blue flies. It just, like, wastes them all. Good, good. Okay, we're trucking through the floors though now. We do have a sack room here. Um, we don't have any HP on the floor to make it work right now. A sack room for obviously filigree feather players could be nice. I think prison was the best thing we got out of filigree feather really. Because I think all, all, basically everything else we got out of filigree feather was pretty useless. Or like not too consequential for the run. Good. Get rid of the nubbins. There you go. Locust of Wars getting in there. Come on, boss man. Where you at? We also seem to be producing random wisps a lot. I'm not really sure where they're coming from, but we seem to always have not just the Book of Virtues wisps. It's not a bad thing, but it's just confusing as all. I don't know what's producing them. Boss has to be this way, I think. Yeah. I've confused that tooth. Okay, it wasn't actual enemy. It was like a bit confusing to confuse just an inanimate tooth there, but... Beautiful. Got an incubus for this fight as well, which is nice. Okay, nice. Holy shit, look at that spray. Multicolored beauty. GMO corn, I guess I'll take. Um, what? I'm very confused at what would have caused this to happen. Is there a, a rewind? Wait, I'm confused. Okay, let me just do this again. I think there's a rewind pill in here, which is not something I knew existed. Okay, this time that didn't happen. Good. Right, that was weird. <laughs> also, we got monstrance, which is yet another thing that I just don't care about. I can't remember, but is this how you unlock Revelation? Because if it is, this was all worth it. I'm confused as to what hit me there because Retrovision is making it impossible to know. Is that spider an enemy? I, d I don't know. This Retrovision seems like the longest Retrovision ever. Dude. This enemy, man. Definitely gonna go for a run after this and clear my head a little bit. Although, I have to say, I unfortunately made a mishap the other day. I um, washed my earphones that I use for going running. I had them in my, uh, my short pockets. And just 
completely forgot and just washed them. Didn't check my pockets before I put them in the machine. In the machine. Made an oopsie. Good. Beautiful. That's what I want to see. These guys are insta killed. Got all of those insta kills. Oh, wait, dude. <laughs> I spammed my active item. Oh, no. Ah, you fucking idiot. I spammed my active item to use up all the rest of my souls, and I accidentally put myself down to 0 0.1 speed. If I die now to this, it's going to be hilarious. Honestly, I don't think it's possible. I think we're dealing too much damage for it to be that big of an issue. Also, we're slowing him constantly, which is kind of nice. And also as well, there must be like a, a cap on speed, because I'm at 0.1 speed, but I'm definitely not 10 times slower than I just was. I'm about half as, half as fast. Like, 0 0.1 speed, I feel, should be a lot slower than this. So I feel like there's a lower limit on how low your speed can actually get, regardless of the stat. I literally can't get out of the way of that attack. I'm not quick enough. I same with that one too. I mean, luckily I've got all the HP here, so I can pretty much face tank the rest of this. There you go. We got it. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. This was a rather lengthy run, um, but it, it was interesting either way. Hope you guys enjoyed. Did we get Revelation? We did! Hell yes, it was all worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.